Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And today I'm gonna to do kind of a unboxing or unpackaging actually, it's a eBay purchase. And what it is is I've uh, been using these, um, these quarter inch adapters that allow you to put a hex bit directly onto a um, quarter inch ratchet or any quarter inch um, connector, um, quarter inch square, um, which really uh, kind of ups the game because you can do so much with a, um, a bit driver here um, when you were uh, um, able to ratchet it and in other form factors beyond the um, uh, standard um, drive handle, um, especially the quarter inch uh, with the flex head um, because it speeds so quickly and then you can finish it up. And um, although you can't lock it, um, the feel is pretty good and it's easy to switch back and forth if you over tighten. It'd be nice if you could lock it in so you could get that back and forth, but that's not what we're after at the moment. What I needed though, whoops, it's got the release button here, um, was to take that capability and move it up to the 3 8 inch size. It's because as um, when I made this guy, I've started using it a lot more. Um, have a couple of these and I'd love to be able to do kind of that that same bit driving um, you know at the the 3 8 level so I was about to click the the buy now button on snap-on's website and order one and I thought maybe I'll just check eBay real quick so I did um, and this just arrived so let's see what uh, what actually happened here crack it open down low I'm using this Spyderco Rescue. Um, it's a kind of a multi-function pocket knife. What's interesting about this is um, it's got some features, uh, safety features built in um, for extreme use. So first of all, you can see it's quite rounded. There's absolutely nothing there, you know, to cut you. Um, in fact, you have to roll all the way around before you even get to that little hook on the end. Um, it's got a uh, mostly serrated blade, which in the emergency situations is often what you need, but it's got a little bit of blade up here. I don't know if you need to sharpen a pencil or something. Um, it's got a, uh, uh, obviously the spidey hole from Spyderco, but then it's also got what they call a spidey hood, which is this great big thumb ramp and also allows you to catch it easily, especially if you're wearing big gloves that don't fit down into the hole um, for purchase. So you can, you know, open that thing up. Um, and a massive thumb ramp there and kind of to keep your hand from sliding forward. Um, also, you notice um, very pronounced finger grooves there. Um, this isn't designed for a lot of different positions like a bushcraft knife or something. It's designed, you know, almost as a saw or, you know, some sort of a uh, entry or a release device like for seat belts, um, bandages, cutting clothing off, whatever. A um, few other features. Um, one is you might notice that there's some finger, finger um, indexing right there. What that's for is when I grab it and push the blade down, out here on the end, um, a carbide glass breaker protrudes. Now a lot of knives stick one of these on the end and then it ends up cutting you, ripping your pocket, just being in the way. This one is recessed until you squeeze it, so it's designed, you know, to, to work as um, a striking tool right there. You can smash through windshields or do whatever. Um, another thing, it's got a reversible um, uh, pocket clip. You can flip it either side to just take it off. It also has a whistle right here. If I blow in that, it comes out here, so it's a safety whistle. Um, they also make this in orange, and you know, I, they didn't at the time I got this one, but now I'd, I wish I had an orange one, so it'd be even more safety-ish. Plus, sometimes when you whip out a knife, it can scare people, but if it's bright orange um, or has safety features, it uh, tends to look more like you, you've got good intentions, not bad. Anyway, uh, crack this guy open. Let's see what we've got here. Nothing else. Uh, it's wrapped up. So the deal was that I ordered three of these guys and uh, I emailed the uh, seller. You know, I had found what I wanted in the Snap-on catalog. It's kind of a dangerous thing. I alluded to that. Um, 
because you find all kinds of stuff that you need, need in air quotes. And anyway, I decided I'd uh, check on eBay and I told the seller, uh, emailed him and said, hey, I'm curious about um, maybe cutting me a deal on shipping because I'd be ordering like three of them. Why am I paying, you know, multiple shipping on these little tiny things? He mailed back, um, instead of adjusting the shipping, he would uh, send me, if I ordered three, he'd send me four. Now that I open this, it looks like he sent me five. So what these are, three eighths inch quarter drive um, uh, ratchets, or I mean a socket. So I should be able to just snap them right on and stick a bit in. A little snug, there we go. Nice, well, it's nice and secure. You know, there we go. That's what I wanted. And um, I don't mind having more of these. I'll just sprinkle them around with other kits in the car, etc. Looks like we've got both old and new versions. Um, but these are uh, um, definitely on my list of things one's a little rough. I mean, they are used. Oh, this one, you can see, maybe you can see the, uh, the chrome is a bit on the um, rough side. And back here, something I always look at with sockets is um, how clean these corners are. I don't have a good example with me, um, but sometimes you'll notice they're a little rough in the corners. Um, or, or, you know, this one I can feel is a little bit rough. What a lot of people do, this is if you're buying used sockets, the new ones should be smooth. Um, but a lot of people put them on impacts or on, on drills and stuff like that and just kind of go to town with them, which these aren't designed for. And it actually wears around on these edges. So um, a lot of times when you pick up a socket set and look, you'll see that. That's that's not a good thing. It means it's been, even though it's a chrome socket, it's been driven on an impact wrench. Um, but anyway, when the chrome starts coming off of these, um, something I like to do, let me see if I can do it here, put a bit in there. Um, get a, where am I? I can easily grab a couple of tools here. I'm going to grab a Milwaukee. Uh, this is an M12 fuel wrench. This one's kind of kind of cute. Uh, talk about a slow startup. Check this out. I can actually depress the trigger entirely and not move um, the chuck at all. Compare that to um, like a, an M18 here. And you, you can't even get close to this thing before it starts screaming. So Nice, slow Monday morning ramp up. But anyway, I'll throw this in backwards. And then grab it, cinch it down. So now I'm spinning this. And I think I've got some around here. More of that non-snap-on emery cloth I've got. Um, but anyway. Just kind of doing a little bit of finish work. To smooth that up. Very nice. Good. Good as new. There we go. Anyway, um, one of the things with eBay is you have to, you know, kind of beware that there might be some other reason they're selling it. Um, but so far, these look pretty good. We'll see how it holds up. That one's a little loose. Interesting. Maybe I'll call Grandpa Snap on and ask him. Might have been the free one. Anyway. Uh, that's what I have for you today. Um, I also was interested in kind of finding some jobs for some old snap-on um, ratchets I have. I mean, once you go to the, you know, the 72 or 80 or 90 or whatever tooth ratchets, these things, these old like 36s are just awful. But this would be a good one um, to dedicate full time to a bit driver. And um, I've got some old snap-on ones that I don't really care for, and even some blue points, because they're 36s. Um, so I may uh, dedicate those full-time to bit drivers as well, as I explore these. Um, I have been really interested in expanding my 3 8 um, capabilities, you know, since I got, since I, you know, built this little guy. And the reason is, um, so many of these... Uh, 
these tools are just amazing when you put them on a ratchet. You know, these uh, different kinds of fasteners of Torx of, uh, um, I can get it off of there. Use a screwdriver. Um, interesting. Uh, anyway, I, I just find I'm going to ratchets a lot more for traditional fastener work. And then if I could open it up and, you know, access without hesitation, you know, the capabilities of all of these different fasteners um, at a, you know, a pretty powerful um, um, or on top of a pretty powerful tool like this, I mean, that's that's a whole new game I want to play with, so I'm kind of excited about that. Anyway, um, so there we go. So I've got my eBay stuff of the day. See how it works out in the long run. Doc out.